passionate communities really describes a way that we relate to each other. Uh, on a simple level, it's the kindness with which we show each other. And the fundamental importance of that kindness has such a powerful impact on our health and well-being. It actually keeps us alive for longer. In the context of end-of-life care, that uh, compassion communities play an absolutely fundamental role because the, the love, laughter and friendship, the kindness with which we show each other gives meaning and value in life. So if you want to do what's really important and do what's best, then build compassionate communities. It's the most effective thing you can do. The link between the Life Cafe and compassionate communities is largely around making the most living as well as you can right up until the end. Today was about trying to make sure that people who are supporting um, people at end of life, whether they're professionals or whether they're uh, just within the supportive network of uh, friends and family members, neighbourhood community members, uh, they can help in the, the most meaningful way. And so the most meaningful way is, is really about the care and the compassion, the kindness that you show the people around you. And the physical resources that really helped today were uh, twofold. Uh, one was the uh, visual impact of having the map with the figures on it. And when the, when the figures fell down, it really gave a sense of how the uh, supportive network can fall apart. The other thing that worked well were the bits of the wall showing the interconnected relationships between people and how that forms a supportive web. Uh, when those interconnections start to fall out, when you have a small number of people and one or two fall down, then you can see that the web falls apart, which really helps to give a physical demonstration of an emotional point. There are some real challenges facing palliative care. One of the biggest challenge, challenges is the issue of equity. And uh, we have inherited a palliative care system which has got massive inequity in it. The inequity exists between cancer and non-cancer and it exists in uh, age group as well. Um, and one of the things we need to figure out is how do we provide equity of care irrespective of diagnosis. And there is a belief amongst professionals that the best thing you can do is provide more and more professional care. But actually what matters most are the people we know and love and the places we know and love. And so what we should focus on is what's most meaningful to people. And we don't need to wait for anything for this. This is something that we can do now. You know, that if you can be just kind to anyone, that helps. If you can be kind to people who are suffering life-limiting illness in whatever way you can manage, that helps. If you can be kind to people who are caring for somebody who's dying, that helps. We don't need to wait for anything. Actually, we can just get on and make sure that the quality of compassion is uppermost in our minds when we're thinking about how we relate to other people.